Well, why don't we just let them now yeah. just chat? Why don't you guys sit down, okay. catch up, let us know if we can be of any further assistance. Thank you, guys. I can't believe it. It was him. This feels like a love story. This does feel like a love story. Now it's all up to them. You all right? Yeah, I'm just freaking out. Oh, my god. We should probably keep moving. OK. Sorry. It's OK, you got this. Hey. Hey, man. What's going on? How you doing? Good. Good to meet you, Neve. Justin. All right. Max. Justin. Nice to meet you. All right. Sorry to uh, sort of sneak up on you. We spoke to Todd. He said you guys were out here surfing, so we just thought we'd give it a shot. I mean, this is a little overwhelming. I'm sure, I got a little bit of explaining to you guys, and I'm not to us. Well, I yeah. mean, you know. Is there a reason you didn't want to meet up with us? It's just, I didn't want to do the show. Like, I've seen the show. I know how people tend to look on the show. I was looking out for what I thought was our best interest by not doing it, and you decided differently. Yeah, but I've tried meeting up with you twice before this, so. I know that, I mean. I try to give you a fair chance. I know. I mean, like, when she came out here, I was in a relationship. Wow. We live on opposite ends of the country, you know? I had a real life in-person relationship, you know, going on and I, I have to still live my life. I wasn't gonna go behind that girl's back either, you know? Well, yeah, but I mean, that was like a plan. She tells you she wants to come out here and look at schools and visit you and you were very encouraging of that. And we're like, yes, this will be great, we'll hang out. And if you knew at the time that you were in a relationship, like that's kind of messed up because I you know, you, you kind of put yourself and her in that situation. Right. No, I mean, I understand. It's just, timing wasn't the best. And, you know, when she was in Vegas, my car wouldn't make it. Like, these are like actual reasons. I'm not, you know, bull you guys and tell them not bull you. And I told you that. I'm not trying to do that. She was under the impression that you were also single right now. And she's single right now. Are you single? Was... I'm not dating anyone right now. I mean, that's not. I'm sure you guys assume that as well, but that's not the case. Then why did you not want to meet up with me now? I was nervous, like. I'm nervous. I know, I know. I mean, this is, you know, this is like a big deal, you know? Like, I'm a very private person when it comes to that. Hi. Hey. hey. How are you? I'm good, how are you? You look very nice. Yeah, you look beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Let's cut the chit chat. <laughs> What's going on with you and Justin? So everything worked out really well. He's actually made an effort to like video chat with me and he's called me more and stuff. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Is Justin your boyfriend? He hasn't asked the question, but I'm moving there in less than a month. Wait, really? So, what? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Got my one-way ticket to California. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> He'll be my boyfriend soon, I swear. I got it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, I think it's cool. You're going for it. Thank you guys so much for helping me meet him. That's what yeah. we're here for. Bye. Okay, bye. Yo. Yo. Just had a nice chat with Leah. We hear she's moving out. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, dude. I mean, you know she's like moving to California to be with you. Yeah, I'm pretty jealous about it, not gonna lie. You promise you're not gonna mysteriously disappear <laughs> when she gets to California? I promise you guys I will be there. You guys have my word. All right, I will good. pick her up and, uh, you know, you'll get an invitation to the wedding. Don't worry. All right. All right. Yeah, I am. You guys would be the first catfish wedding. We're always hoping for it. When it happened with all you guys, so I really, I really appreciate this. All right, man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what? Right. It's you, like, this is actually you. Well, come on in. We didn't know if you'd made it or not. I landed and then I had the address, so I so just kind of jumped in a cab. <laughs> Look at that. Well, Max, Neve, Zach. Hi. We were concerned because uh, we hadn't necessarily heard that you landed. Anyway, doesn't matter, you're here. Okay. <laughs> so what's the deal? Yeah, you, you seem exactly as you promised. Uh, we're confused. Why didn't you FaceTime him? This is the whole mystery. There's a, there's a lot that goes into that. 
This guy I was really into lived in Georgia. We did sort of an online long distance relationship. We were together for about almost two years. I flew him back to Wichita. He stayed with me, everything was cool. And then uh, he gets a call at three in the morning, basically from this guy he was dating. And uh, I kind of flipped out. So your ex-boyfriend had fallen in love with someone in Georgia. What was up with this whole thing with him hacking your profile? He got really angry and then basically hacked my Facebook account. So I'm kind of hesitant to the whole long distance online relationship. Sure, but, but the whole shroud of mystery and the, the double profile and not telling him about your other profile. The other profile's sort of irrelevant, the Gary one. Right. That's how my family and close friends used to address me. I made that profile as something I could use to hide this part of my life from my family. So you created a second, more generic friends and family page, just yeah. like Zach. So you quiet. Guys... <laughs> I grew up in a very small Catholic town. What were you so worried that Zach would be disappointed about? I just kind of felt that I didn't want to let you down. That's why I didn't basically show myself the whole FaceTime thing, because I was still like trying to keep my guard up. And I was kind of hesitant, because you also had two Facebook profiles. We spoke to Katie. My best friend. Your yeah. best friend. Have you ever told her about Zach? I, uh, we talked briefly about him. So when we talked to her yesterday, why did she say she didn't know anything about me? Because she doesn't really know anything about you. She knows your name. She knows what you look like. She was cautious not to yes. sort of. She texted me afterwards and she was like, hey, so this just happened. I was like vague, but honest. Right. I was like, okay. Why'd you take your Facebook account and Instagram account down yesterday? I, I got the call and I was terrified and I, I freaked out. So hold on a second. So there's no big yeah, what's crazy the big, what's the big deal? thing that you've been hiding. It's basically, I just didn't want to be vulnerable to another person. Falling for someone online and being vulnerable to them, kind of, it's kind of nerve wracking. I offered to come to Kansas to see you. So why didn't you want me to come see you? Basically, when I first came out, my family told me to lie. They told me to keep everything to myself, tell nobody and basically be like their straight son. So I was terrified for our first time to meet to be where they are at. I wanted to meet you first before I start telling my family there's this great guy that I met that I'm super into and... Is that I, uh, true? Yes. That, that you're, him. you met a great guy and you're super into him? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Zach, how do you feel right now? You've been very quiet. I'm kind of shocked that you turned out to be who you said you were going to be. We probably have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, there's a lot we should probably talk about. Well, why don't we just let them now yeah. just chat. Why don't you guys sit okay. down, catch up, let us know if we can be of any further assistance. Thank you, guys. I can't believe it. It was him. This feels like a love story. This does feel like a love story. Now it's all up to Zach. Where are you guys? Delaware. Amazing. Yeah, we actually bought a plane ticket to come to see me after the filming because we didn't get to spend enough time together. How do you like Delaware, Garrett? <laughs> it's ridiculously cold. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is great. Are you guys in love with each other? Well, you. Uh, no, you can't ask that. Well, if they are, they are. I mean, well, they don't know. Do you guys know? I mean, I tell him all the time I love him. Oh, OK. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, this is serious. Oh, that's sweet. There's nothing like to say. Yeah, look at these two. We are perfect for each other, I guess. Little lovebirds. <laughs> They're so happy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what's going on in your head right now? Are you really considering moving? I, well, eventually. I mean, I got to sell my house first. Incredible. All right, guys. Well, thank you both for being strong and confident and showing your love for each other. It's a beautiful thing to see. So we really appreciate it. Glad to have been a part of this love connection. And best of luck. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. It's really going to be dark. Oh, my God. It's really going to be dark.
Derek, come on. Oh my god, I can't turn around. Oh my god. Oh, I can't turn around. Oh my god. Oh my god. shaking so much. I couldn't even turn around. Wait, are you real? I'm real. Oh my no god. Oh my god, you're in life for. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Quit shaking. Quit shaking. I can't. Quit shaking. That's eight years of shaking done right there. Oof. Yeah, I need to see if this guy's real. That's <laughs> Thank you for bringing her to me. <laughs> I can't believe I can't it. stop shaking. So great. Is, is this weird actually touching you? I know. I don't even know what to say. Like. <laughs> Thank you for being you. I told her. She didn't believe me. Well, we'll get to all that. Let's 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 okay. sit down. Lots to talk about. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's call Lauren. See how things with her and Derek are. Whoa! What? Oh my god! What are you guys doing together? Hanging out. Visiting each other. So how's everything going? Really, really well. I met most of the family. My dad actually conversated with him. Wow, so, so Derek, how was that? It was a little intense at first. He was just like, so why have you talked to Lauren for so long? And I was like, oh, I can't really picture my life without her. The future, what, is, what does it look like? Uh, we actually have some pretty big plans for the future. We want to get engaged within a year, maybe less. Depending, I hope. <laughs> and within a year, we've, we've been talking about it. What is happening? I can't tell who that is. Is that her? I'm so confused. That's the name? Wow. Hi. There's like nothing in there right now. <laughs> How are you guys? I'm Max. Hi Max, nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Sabina. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Your email really threw us off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there someone else in the car? No. Oh, so you just came by yourself? Yeah. Maybe it was a, an autocorrect. I don't know. <laughs> so what's the, what's the big secret? I... Uh, uh, the, the big secret is that, like, you know, I posted a lot of photos of me looking really, like, good, like, photoshopped. And I, like, I'm not like that. As you can see, I don't look like that. Shut up, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I was just really scared to meet you because I'm a giant. And I just, <laughs> and I'm sorry for laughing. I'm just really nervous. <laughs> oh. So the whole big secret is that like you might look different in the pictures. I'm really self-conscious. A lot of my photos are super photoshopped. I feel like I was catfishing him. My boobs are photoshopped. My butt's photoshopped. My face looks flawless. I don't look human. I look like a supermodel and I'm not. I'm really lanky and dorky and awkward. And I just didn't want him to see that side of me, so. I kind of think we've hit the point, though, in, in social media culture where, where we kind of just expect that those photos, that you're going to look a little yeah. different in and your life don't anyway. Look that no. Different. If I saw you, I would recognize you. OK. Modeling really tears you down. I like struggled with my weight and who I was as a person. And I went through a lot of stuff. And I just have zero self-confidence. When I emailed you guys, I was only 17. It was really a cry for help. I wanted to meet him, and I didn't know how to do about it. So you're 18 now. Yes. And everything that Dylan knows about you is exactly true. That, yes. Why does your sister's Facebook page have your phone number on it? Because 
because a year ago I changed, like I needed a new phone because my phone like crapped the bed on me and I just took her phone and we just never really realized that it was still on her Facebook until like now-ish, so. And she never spoke to Dylan? No. So it's I been you the whole time? Yes. Your profile? Yes, it's me. And your feelings for Dylan are? Extremely strong. I'm trying to really put myself out here and like be upfront with you guys. The only person that yeah. it matters that you're upfront with is Dylan. <laughs> Do you have any questions? I don't know what to say. Well, hey, I'm <laughs> overjoyed. Yeah, I, this, this very rarely happens for us. Why don't we go inside, figure out what we want to do next? Okay. Oh, okay. Come on in. Okay. Yeah. I got a lot of questions. Oh! What's up? What's oh my up? God. Wait a second. Where are you? We're in Virginia. Virginia? You already went yeah. down there? Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. We got to get a whole update here. So what are you? Boyfriend Boy, and girlfriend? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, we got one! <laughs> That's amazing! Oh, Congratulations, man. guys! This is great! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I can't believe that, like, I'm here. That's crazy. We always talked about this. I love you. I love you more. That's bull****. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Savina, you were thinking about this whole Coast Guard thing. Any update? Uh, yeah, they called and said I didn't get in. All right. Well, they're lost. They're lost. So now okay. you're free to go anywhere. So. I'm gonna be going here, Virginia. Whoa. Dylan, are you, you're into the idea of Savina moving down to Virginia? Oh yeah, 100%. Like 110%, like he's like ready to go. He's like, don't even have to go back. So this is a neighborhood my dad lives in. It's a pretty nice place. In like the near-ish future, I think we would just, I would stay at. My place. Yeah, your place and I'll pay part rent and then you pay part rent and whatever. But uh, yeah, like, um, future. This is actually the kind of area that I would want to yeah. settle down to. We've gotten to know each other even more and we've got like a special connection. It's different when you're talking on the phone and then like when you're literally next to them, it's it's a total different experience and it's awesome. It's kind of weird that we've only like been physically with each other for like five days overall, but like we can so have... comfortable? Yeah, it's like, it's oddly comfortable. We practically know everything. Does your family like Savina? She gets along with my family a little too well. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear some embarrassing stories? Yes, whoa, I would no, love whoa, Yes, whoa, yes, whoa. yes. We need some embarrassing stories whoa. of Dylan. No, no. How about a smooch? There we go. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> well, don't let us waste any more of your time, guys. Just keep on doing your thing. You guys are great. All right, thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Hey. Tony? How you doing, man? So nervous. Take a deep breath. Why don't you step on out here? Good looking guy. Right? How would you like? This is Tony. This is Colleen. Hello. How you doing? Nervous. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I think you're only slightly more nervous than Colleen is. I don't know if that's possible right now. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? I'm awesome. All right, well, that's nice. That's <laughs> no awesome. one has ever yeah. walked out the door and said, I'm awesome. Nice to meet you, finally. Nice to finally meet you, too. But why did you say that I told you I was 25? I've never once told you I was 25. And when did you send me hundreds of dollars? I apologize. I, honestly, I was just scared. Um, I kind of just made it up as I went along, which wasn't the most honest thing to do. I have a lot of self-esteem issues, and I was kind of insecure that you wouldn't Accept me for who I am. Who are you? Jeremy Antonio. So your name is Jeremy, but you go by Tony. My middle name is Tony. The phone number you have is from Washington. Did, have you previously lived there? When I was 18, I moved to Washington. And I instantly loved the place. I, I just always felt like 
I wish I would have been born there. And I knew I was going to come back, but I wanted a reason to. So that's why you were looking to meet women in Spokane? Yeah. Why were you pretending to be this other guy on Plenty of Fish? It wasn't the most honest thing to do. I just wanted to see if it would work. I'm not a stereotypical black guy. It makes me more inclined to date Caucasian women because I feel like, you know, I can be myself, I can dress like this, I can, uh, I can watch science fiction movies and do whatever it is that I want to do. I don't want to be viewed as a stereotype. Do you find that's your experience? That's commonly the case. So non-black women generally sort of assume that you're a certain type of person because of your skin. Yeah. We'd have a lot in common. I mean, why wouldn't you let me be the judge of everything? I'm sorry, Colin. No, I just, I just pray that you can forgive me. I really wanna. Just gotta promise me no more lies. I'll get on my knees right now. Colleen, these last couple months changed my life. I never wanna lie to you. I just wanna make you happy. I'm sorry. I'll do anything to keep moving forward with you. Still want to marry me? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to give up on you. Something's telling me not to. Can we celebrate? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. You guys seem to really have the connection that you felt for the past three months in person. And yes, there's going to be some adjusting to the new reality, but this is exciting. Yeah. Hey, there she is. Colleen. How you doing? I'm doing really good. Me and Jeremy are trying to work it out. In fact, actually right here with me. What? Oh hey. my god. Hey, there he is. There he is. Look at this guy. Oh my god, you actually <laughs> went up there. I'm impressed. Are you just up there temporarily or are you like staying there for a bit? Well, I got an interview at a pizza place out here. So hopefully that goes the way I want it to. I mean, this is what you wanted, right? You, you wanted a to move back to Washington. Your plan really worked out. Yeah. I thank you guys every day for bringing me to him. I want you guys at our wedding when and if we do get married. Wow, we'd love to come to your wedding. What is your relationship right now with your family, Jeremy? I'm trying my best to communicate with them, but they're being a little reluctant to talk to me. Well, this is a beautiful thing. Be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, good luck with everything. Bye, Bye guys. guys.